Hey guys, so I wanted to take some time to talk about the basics of manifesting, of the law of attraction, um, because not everybody knows exactly how it works, how to make it work for them, or sometimes what people are talking about when they talk about the law of attraction. So this is for people who are looking for more insight on it, a more basic understanding of it, and um, yeah, just kind of getting into the law of attraction and figuring out what we're all talking about or what I'm talking about when I talk about manifesting. So what is the law of attraction? It is the law that what you emit, what you send out the universe is going to return to you. So everything works on vibrational frequency. When you are very, very happy, you are at a very high vibrational place. When you're in joy, when you're in love, when you're blissed out, you're at a very high, high frequency. And when you are upset, when you're depressed, when you're angry, you vibrate at a much lower frequency. So think about it as when you're really happy, you have all this energy and um, the waves kind of go like that. And then when you're sad, when you're down, when you're down on yourself, when you're thinking bad things about yourself, you go a lot slower and the waves kind of go like that. So whatever you emit, whatever you are at is what the universe is responding to because we live in an energetic universe. Everything's energy, everything has a certain vibration, the plants, the people, everything that, everything that has that is matter is made up of energy, which we all know from a scientific standpoint. So you attract what you are, not what you want. Everything that you have in your experience, you are pulling out of that with what you are sending out. So when you start to send out really good energy, that really good energy comes back to you. And when you send out not so good energy, that energy comes back to you. You pull out of your experience the things that are on the same frequency as you. So say in the morning you wake up and you're like, today's going to be so awesome. And you find a couple of things to focus on that are really great in your reality. And then you find like all this really great stuff starts to happen because you have this really positive momentum building inside of yourself. And you're pulling that out of your experience. You're pulling more things to make you more happy, to make you more excited, and you're seeing the good in things. And there are mornings where you may wake up and you immediately stub your toe, you think about something that you're dreading, you are late to work, and it kind of like goes in this endless loop of today sucks and I can't, I can't get anything that I want and the world is against me. When you stay on that lower frequency, that's what you're pulling out of your experience, that's what you're attracting. So in order to kind of shift that, you start to look for the positives, you start to be grateful, you make gratitude lists, you look for the silver lining in things because they are there. You um, focus on the things that make you happy and everything that you desire is in is out in the universe. Everything that you have ever desired, the universe knows about and is working to give to you. But you also have to put that work in. So the best way to attract to you what you are looking for is to embody that feeling of what you want to have happen. Because everything that we want, we want because we feel like we will feel better in having it. So if you want a relationship, you have to learn how to be in love with yourself. If you want someone who's going to love you and care for you and pamper you and do all this awesome stuff for you, you have to do that for yourself. If you want to have an awesome job where you are valued, where you are respected, you have to give value to yourself. You have to respect yourself. When you start doing this to you and embodying it and expecting it from your outside world, that's when it starts coming in in your reality. So the law of attraction is working whether we are aware of it or not. Um, it's working if we believe in it. It's working if we don't believe in it. So that creates some really odd things. When you don't believe in it, or when you really denounce it, you kind of become a little powerless to it. Um, so manifesting, that lovely word that I talk about all the time, is a deliberate creation, deliberately creating, deliberately embodying and matching the frequency of what you want. So in order to manifest what you want, you have to pay attention to what is happening in your mind and the way you feel. Your emotions are going to show you 
what frequency you're at. When you're feeling really, really happy, you're at a high frequency. When you're feeling like, meh, you're kind of in the middle. When you're like content, when you're like, eh, things are, things are fine, things are what they are. And when you're feeling like depressed and sad, you're at a low frequency. So, and it's not always easy to change these things. It's not an overnight thing at all because when I started getting into law of attraction, I did not want to own the fact that I created my life and that I created the things that I was going through. Once I did that, once I owned that, and once I was able to pay attention to how I felt and what I wanted to change and what I wanted to bring about, things did start to change for me and my life did get a lot better. So it's paying attention to how you feel. It's paying attention to what's going through your mind. It's paying attention to the beliefs that you have because when you are going through your life and you have something happen that makes you feel bad, that is contra that makes you feel like you are like in contrast, like pushing against what you want to have happen, like resistance. It's just showing you that there may be something inside of you that you believe that your higher self and that the universe doesn't align with, that it knows to be not true. So if you have an experience that leaves you feeling really upset, it might be worth it to dig in and see why do I feel upset? Do I feel like I'm not worthy of something? Do I feel like I don't deserve something? Is there a belief in there that maybe doesn't serve you? And it's great to find these beliefs because then you work past them and then you start creating some really awesome things. There's nothing wrong with going through contrast and going through something you don't like because it helps you improve yourself and it helps you learn about yourself and you are able to then create better ideas about yourself. The best thing to do when it comes to manifesting, when it comes to the law of attraction, this is the best tip I can give you. It is be authentically yourself and have as much fun doing it as you can. That is how things are going to manifest. If, if you get stuck on what you're manifesting, on what you are attracting and why it's not here yet, it is going to have a lot harder time coming to you than if you just embodied being happy and excited about life and just let things come to you because you're a magnet. You are a magnet for everything that you are giving out. It's all coming back to you. So let yourself be in joy and in bliss and in love with your life. And don't worry about exactly what's coming to you because the universe knows what you want. It's all coming to you. So hopefully this kind of explained it in a good way for you guys. I know that we talk about it a lot. I talk about it a lot. Um, you've probably heard about it in your life uh, other than just me. And I... Um, hope that it inspires you. I hope if you do know about the law of attraction and you watch this anyway, it kind of like kickstarted your day on it. I don't know, recording it totally did for me. So yeah, I hope that this helps you guys. I hope it inspires you guys and I hope you all have an amazing day. Please let me know if there's anything you want me to cover in these videos because I would love to help you out any way I can. And I love you guys. I'm Abby, love and light.